And now it's time for Silly Songs with Laddie, the part of the show where Laddie comes out and sings a silly song. One day, while talking with Dr. Archibald, Laddie confronts one of his deepest fears. If my lips ever left my mouth, packed a bag and headed south, that'd be too bad. I'd be so sad. I see, that'd be too bad. You'd be so sad. That'd be too bad. All righty. If my lips said adios, I don't like you, I think you're gross, that'd be too bad. I might get mad. Hmm, that'd be too bad. You might get mad. That'd be too bad. Fascinating. If my lips moved to the loop, left a mess and took my tooth, that'd be too bad. I'd call my dad. Oh dear, that'd be too bad. You'd call your dad. That'd be too bad. Hold it! Did you say your father? Fascinating! So what you're saying is, if your lips left you... That'd be too bad, I'd be so sad, I might get mad, I'd call my dad, that'd be too bad. That'd be too bad. That'd be too bad. Why? Cause I love my lips! Oh my, this is more serious than I thought. Larry, what do you see here? Um, that looks like a lip. What about this? It's a lip. And this? It's a lip, it's a lip, it's a lip, 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 it's a lip, it's a lip, it's a lip, 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 it's a lip, it's a lip, it's a lip, 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 lip. Larry, tell me about your childhood. When I was just two years old, I left my lips out in the cold and they turned blue. What could I do? Oh dear, they turned blue. What could you do? Oh, they turned blue. I see. On the day I got my tooth, I had to kiss my great aunt Ruth. She had a beard, and it felt weird. My, my, she had a beard, and it felt weird? She had a beard. Oh. Ten days after I turned eight, got my lips stuck in a gate. My friends all laughed, and I just stood there until the fire department came and broke the lock with the crowbar, and I had to spend the next six weeks in lip rehab with this kid named Oscar who got stung by a bee right on the lip, and we couldn't even talk to each other until the fifth week because both of our lips were so swollen, and when he did start speaking, he just spoke Polish, and I only knew like three words in Polish, except now I know four because Oscar taught me the word for lip. Usta. Your friends all laughed. Usta. How do you spell that? I don't know. So what you're saying is that when you were young... They turned blue, what could I do? She had a beard and it felt weird, my friends all laughed. whoop -da. I'm confused. I love my lips! This has been Silly Songs with Laddie. Tune in next time to hear Laddie say... Have I ever told you how I feel about my nose? Oh, look at the time! Bye, ba boo ba dee ba dee dee ba boo ba dee ba dee Here we go! That A.S. was a wee little man and a wee little man was he really little he climbed up in a sycamore tree for the lord he wanted to see hello and as the savior passed that way he looked up in the tree and he said Zacchaeus you come down for I'm going to your house today yes I'm going to your house today <laughs> Hey, what's with the Egyptian thing? Here we go, one more time. Zacchaeus was a wee little man, and a wee little man was he. Very tiny, he climbed up in a sycamore tree, for the Lord he wanted to see. There he is, and as the Savior passed that way, he looked up in the tree. And he said, Zacchaeus, you come down. I'm going to your house today. Hey, hey, yeah, I'm going to your house today. Hug me, oh, I just play your mother's Look at me go, look at me go. Oh, that chaos was a wee little man. What a happy little man was he. That chaos saw the Lord that day. And a happy little man was he. Because <laughs> as the Savior passed his way, he looked. Come!
happy little man was he. Good morning, George. How are you? I hope you're feeling fine. I'd love to stay and talk, but it's almost 8 o'clock and I haven't got the time. See you later! Because we work real hard at the chocolate factory. We start at 8 and we don't get lunch till 3. I gotta drive a truck to make a buck so I can say. Well now, you are in trouble, your time card is a wreck. It's almost two past eight, I'll tell Nezzer that you're late and he'll take it from your check. Yes, Mr. Lunt. Oh yes, we work real hard at the chocolate factory. Excuse me, Mr. Lunt, but I've got an injury. Now get back on the line. You'll be just fine. With all this work to do, we've got no time for sympathy. We use to be so happy. We used to laugh and run. Now there's no time to play cause we gotta work on it and it isn't very fun. I'm Rack. I'm Chad. I'm Benny. We work here in the plant. We'd like to take a break for goodness sake. But Mr. Nazar says you can't. <laughs> we all need a vacation. And now it's time for Ukulele Karaoke with Bob, the part of the show where Bob comes out and sings an Ukulele Karaoke. Uh, what's going on? You are doing the Ukulele Karaoke, no? No, I'm on a break. Uh, this is the Pirates. They are busy with the rest of the show. But I, I, I don't even know the song. Your lyrics, monsieur. Bring in the props. Uh, but wait, I... <laughs> Monsieur! Hold on a sec! I'm totally unprepared to do a solo! Your backup singers! What? Isn't that the... Oui. They are the Wiggly Turtle Tubies! The Wiggly Turtle Tubies? They look taller on TV. So do you, Tomato! Uh, but really, this is Larry's gig! I can't just... This show must go on, Monsieur! Quick, that is your cue! Just follow along, you will be fine. Let's that turtle! Aloha lands! Let's that turtle dance, dance, dance. Let's that turtle. Aloha, let's. Let's that turtle dance, dance, dance. Well, I keep a little turtle at my uncle and my aunt's. My Annie's name is Myrtle, and my island turtle's name is Lance. He doesn't wander far, even if he has a chance. He just plays his ukulele and he does the hula dance. What? Let's that turtle. Aloha, let's. Let's that turtle. He threw a luau barbecue one breezy summer night. Invited all his turtle pals to come and have a weeky bite. The turtle started walking there as Lance began to swing. The one that lived across the street arrived there in the spring. Oh, I get it. Turtles are slow. <laughs> so I took him a long time. <laughs> That's pretty good. Lance the turtle. Aloha, Lance. Lance the turtle. Dance, dance, dance. 
But Lance just kept on cooking. He was grilling full of glee. He was marinating ribs cause he likes uh, syrup with his feta cheese. Uh, I'm sorry, I... Lance's purple turtle shell has ketchup if you please. Pineapples are shiny spotted tiki bumblebees. Oh man. Lance and turtle. Hello, Holland. Lance and turtle. Oh, oh wait a minute. Hey, guys, I don't think this is right. It doesn't make any sense. It works for us. <laughs> but this song, this song. Uh, there are luscious chocolate fingers spinning slowly in the school. Malay Kalikimaka. Fluffy bunnies driving in the pool. Larry. A thousand igloos wax the feet, spray luggage in the tree, raining puppies, flying clown, flossing Puna Hale. Ow! Oh, forget it. Woohoo! The bag is Mizzy's coconut, Tahiti Yolo leg, white mini whiskey jelly floss, the meds a fuzzy parrot bag, paper plastic porcupine, the horse he makes his bed, the homer who manuka nuku abo I was in bed. Lance and Turtle, hello, Holland. This has been Ukulele Karaoke with Bob. Tune in next time when Bob says, I'll be in my dressing room. Dance, dance, dance. Finished with them, I'll be the one in control. <laughs> Not so fast, bad apple. First Bumbly Bird, then the world. It's apple picking time. An ordinary citizen by day. Changing suits when danger comes our way. Our vigilant defender and our friend. Protecting us from villains to the Trouble brings the city to its knees Everyone in Bombly Bird agrees Light the signal, rise and sound the call And Larry Boy will come and save us all Larry Boy There's no hero quite like Larry Boy Larry Boy Rock on Larry Boy
trouble, I'll be there. Whenever a helpless vegetable calls out, I will answer. Evildoers, beware! You are no match for the awesome power of Larry Boy and his super suction ears! Let's see. With many cheerful facts about the square of the hypotenuse. With many cheerful facts about the square of the hypotenuse. With many cheerful facts about the square of the hypotenuse. With many cheerful facts about the square of the hypotenuse. All right, hang on. I'm very good at integral and differential calculus. I know the scientific names of beings and amalculus. In short, it matters vegetable, animal, and mineral. I am the very model of a modern major general. It's a All right, now stay with me. I am the very model of a modern major general. I've information, vegetable, animal, and mineral. I know the kings of England, and I quote the facts historical. From Marathon to Waterloo, in order categorical. I'm very well acquainted, too, with matters mathematical. I understand equations, both the simple and quadratical. About binomial theorem, I am teeming with a lot of news. A lot of news. With many cheerful facts about the square of the hypotenuse. With many cheerful facts about the square of the hypotenuse. With many cheerful facts about the square of the hypotenuse. With many cheerful facts about the square of the hypotenuse. I'm very good at integral and differential calculus. I know the scientific names of beings and amount. of you are wondering what I found in all my wandering. Here's a clue for you. I knew just what to do. And, uh, me too. If a crime has been committed, which makes you rather curious, while culprits and solutions lurk elusive and impervious, and fancy words bewilder you and make you feel ridiculous, the crime will not be solved until you grab the phone and call on me. Just call 1-800-SHERLUCK. Operators are standing by. We're so thorough in our searching as we sift and sort and sleuth for clues. Faculty for skirting any felons off deceptive ruse. What? Uh, we never leave the job except to snack and maybe take a snooze. Offenders best surrender cause eventually they're sure to lose. It's all probability, really. You see, given that logic and deduction are on our side, a criminal stands a highly diminished chance of succeeding in his misdeed. Criminals? What are they thinking? <laughs> So if a criminal commits a crime who's hiding in his secret lair He thinks the crime is perfect, but of certain facts he's unaware He's left a print and not just smudge, a lack of hair upon the stair We'll find a clue and track him down and trap him in a secret lair It seems they're always in their secret lair The lesson here for all to see is really rather obvious When Sherlock Holmes is on a case It's sure to be melodious! <laughs> In the 
course of litigation our opposers please are tenuous following your fancy talk is getting rather strenuous the crime will not be solved until you grab the phone wait for the tone and call on me And now it's time for Silly Songs with Laddie, the part of the show where Laddie comes out and sings a silly song. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Laddie the Cucumber presents in a sequential image stereophonic multimedia event, the Song of the Sabu. about a boy. A song about a little boy and his taboos. A song about a little boy and his three taboos. The little boy who had a sick taboo, a sad taboo, and a mute taboo. And also a hippo. Um, um, this is me at the airport. This is my Aunt Ruth. This is me at a bullfight. This is me fighting a bull. Ooh. This is me and the bull. Ah. This is me and the bull, and I think that's the bull's cousin. He's a sabu. Hold it! Do you call this a multimedia event? This is a slide projector and a bed sheet. And what on earth is a sabu anyway? It's kind of like a cow. Yes. Well, very good. Uh, this could be interesting. Carry on. Sing it with me. Boy is riding with a boo. Boy is riding with a boo. Into town in his canoe. Into town in his canoe. Six Sabu is rowing and sneezing. A choo moo moo, a choo moo moo, a choo moo moo, a choo moo 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 moo. A choo moo moo, 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 a choo moo 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 moo. Can put you wing on bamboo. Can put you wing on bamboo. Can see boy and three Sabu. Can see boy and three Sabu. That Sabu is rowing and crying. Boo moo moo, boo moo moo, boo moo moo, boo moo 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 moo. Hippo's seen by Mutabu. Hippo's seen by Mutabu. Tries to tell the other two. Tries to tell the other two. Mutabu is waving and grunting. Mm -hmm. boy injured? Why is the sad Cebu sad? Is the canoe wood or aluminum? Oh look, there's me and Bob at SeaWorld. Oh wow. Ooh. Forgot about that one. There's me and that bull again. You can't just start a song and leave it hanging like that. You know, I've come to expect a lot more from you. This is quite disappointing. I'm going to have to speak to Bob about this. Oh, look! A Cebu! No, wait. That's a water buffalo. No more song about Cebu. Need another verse or two. Audience is standing and leaving. Bye bye, moo. Bye bye, moo. Bye bye, moo. Bye bye, moo. Bye -bye, moo. I want my money back. Yeah, that'd be good.
if you need refrigerators to keep extra mashed potatoes or a giant air compressor to blow food pipes off your dresser or a dehydrated strudel or a nose ring for your poodle or a five pound can of tuna and some flippers to go scuba. Scuba, scuba, scooby dooby dooba, here we go scuba. Come on. We don't need a rubber hose. We got those. A rubber deck and tree. We got three. A wrap around deck. Got a deck. But if you need a window scraper and a gross of toilet paper Or a ratchet set in pliers and some round-down amplifiers And a solar turkey chopper or a padded gopher popper Flannel shirts for looking grungy and some rope for going bungee Bungee, 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 bungee Here we go, bungee Come on Listens to my prayers. That's why I say thanks. 